So the role of osmolarity in my practice is uh, in three ways actually. First of all, we test all patients who have symptoms of dry eye disease. We know that because of we give to everybody the OSDI questionnaire when they uh, say they have uh, symptoms or signs of uh, dry eye disease. We test them and we know whether it's in high osmolarity or not. The second group actually are the pre-op surgical patients, whether it is for cataract surgery, uh, ICL implantation or laser vision correction. Because uh, not everybody has symptoms and when you have a high osmolarity, we need to treat those patients preoperatively. Because we know when you have a high osmolarity and no symptoms, and we do surgery, uh, they will end up with dry eye symptoms after surgery. The patient will say or will blame the surgery and the surgeon and uh, you will sit there and have a difficult time talking to your patient and saying, no, I didn't put in a wrong lens, no, I did not do uh, a bad reflective uh, laser vision correction, but it's due to the tear film. So when you know it, you can treat it and you can also communicate it with the patient so when after surgery they will have dry eye disease, they know already beforehand this is the cause and not something else. And the third group is the, the post-op um, uh, patients who have dry eye disease where we, uh, we, we didn't know beforehand, even with testing with, with a tear lab, so we can do another testing and bring in the osmolarity in these cases.